Hey, what's up, Internet? Today I'm gonna talk about this whole uh, Greta Thunberg, Thunberg, not sure how to pronounce her name, and Donald Trump tweet. Yeah, the, the Democrats and the liberals are all up in arms saying that Donald Trump is bullying this girl. Get the hell out of here with that crap, Holmes. I read the tweet. Man, that was so mild. It was like nothing. I mean, not the only thing he said was that she has anger management issues, which she does, and that she needs to go to a movie with a friend and chill out. That's it. You know, that's not bullying. That's I mean, And then the Democrats and the liberals are, are screaming like, oh, we need to be worried about this, and we need to condemn this and all this stuff. Get the hell out of here with that crap, you freaking liberal Democrat. The... These are the same people who defend that disgusting representative from Philadelphia, Brian Sims. Brian Sims actually physically confronted like girls, like minors, and then threatened them, threatened them, threatened to dox them. He threatened to like he paid he basically paid like a bounty. He said that he would give a hundred dollars to anybody who who could provide like the address and the phone number or whatever so that they could be harassed. Can you believe that? He threatened to like publish their, you know, where they live so that people could go over to their house and harass them. I mean, what a punk. And not a word from the Democrats. N not a word of condemnation from the liberals. In fact, they defended him. They said that Brian Sims is defending women's rights. What? He insults and threatens four females and he's supposed to be a champion of female rights? Get the hell out of here with that crap, Holmes. What a freaking bunch of hypocrites. Donald Trump didn't go up to Greta Thunberg and harass her. He just walked by her that one time. That one time when they were in the same room, like I think it was a few months ago, Donald Trump just ignored her. He just walked by her. But Brian Sims... He actually goes up to these girls and threatens them. And yet Trump is the bully? Get the hell out of here with that crap, Holmes. And now the Democrats and liberals are saying, Oh, I guess since Donald Trump bullied Greta Thunberg, that I guess that means it's okay to bully Baron Trump. Get the hell out of here with that crap. Apples and oranges, Holmes. Number one, the liberals and the Democrats don't need an excuse to harass Baron Trump. They've been harassing him since day one. They bullied and harassed Trump before this whole Greta Thunberg incident. So don't give me that crap that somehow now it's okay to harass Baron Trump. Number two, Baron Trump never chose to be a public figure, you know what I'm saying? He did not choose to be in the public spotlight. The only reason why Baron Trump is famous and is in the public spotlight is because his dad became president. That's it. He didn't choose this. He didn't choose his publicity. Greta Thunberg, however, she chose to insert herself into politics. She chose to put herself out there. She chose to become a public figure. That's the difference. And when you choose to become a public figure, you know, people are going to criticize you. That's just how it is. I ain't saying it's right or wrong. I'm just saying that's how it is. So that's the big difference between Baron Trump and Greta. Baron did not choose his public life. Greta Thunberg did. Big difference. But, you know, liberals are so stupid. Liberals are, and Democrats are so stupid that, you know, they just compare apples and oranges. So, all this pro-clutching by the Democrats and the liberals, they're such big freaking hypocrites. I mean, they're just disgusting people. And then, lastly, last thing I want to say is that, I mean, do you want to talk about, you know, being a bully, being sick? You know, Peter Fonda, Peter Fonda, the actor, a grown man, says that he wished that Baron Trump was locked up in a room with a bunch of pedophiles. Can you believe that? That's sick. And the Democrats, hardly a peep. The mainstream media, nothing. You know, they when he died, they, they were like, oh, what a great guy. And then here they turn around and say that... They're offended by a Trump tweet. 
Can you imagine if Trump had said something like that? Can you imagine if Trump had said that he wished that Greta was locked up with a bunch of pedophiles? I mean, that's... They would demand his resignation. They would say that's grounds for impeachment. They would say that he should be thrown in jail. They would say that he's advocating for violence against women, not females. But when Peter Fonda says it, when a liberal Hollywood actor says it, nothing, not a single freaking word. So liberals and Democrats... Get the hell out of here with your crap, because America's freaking tired of your hypocrisy and your lies. You guys don't care about kids. I mean, you guys don't give a crap about kids. Don't give me this crap about how it's okay to pick on Barron Trump now, and because if you really, if liberals really cared about kids, if they really cared, they'd be like, you know what? It was wrong for Donald Trump to tweet about Greta Thunberg, but we're not gonna respond in kind to Barron because we like kids. But they didn't say that. So many comments online saying that, oh, it's, it's open season on Baron Trump now. Liberals are sick people. Liberals are freaking sick people. And I can't believe people still vote for Democrats. After the way they've been behaving after 2016, I mean, I can't believe people vote for Democrats. I didn't vote for a single Democrat during the midterms, not a single one. Like, and I just don't see how anyone could. I mean, Democrats and liberals are evil people. They've become evil. They have become evil. They're not like they used to be back in the 1980s. They become evil people. So that's all I gotta say on that. And sorry to say, you know, I don't like picking on kids, but Greta Thunberg, she is a spoiled brat, Holmes. She's a spoiled brat. You know, I'm, I'm sorry to say that, but she is. I mean, insulting the rest of us saying that we stole her childhood and how dare we ask for her help. Yo, I ain't asking for your help, Greta. I don't want your help. I don't need your help. Generation Z is turning out to be just as bad as gener as the millennials. So, I don't, need, I don't need your generation's help. You know, we're just going to do our thing, Holmes. You know, each generation had its own environmental movement. You know, back Generation X had you know, El Nino and La Nina and the Amazon rainforest. That was our thing. And before us, the baby boomers had their own you know, environmental movement. Every generation has had their environmental movement and every generation has been disappointed with the previous generation. So the next generation, whatever that's going to be, they're going to start criticizing Generation Z. They're going to start criticizing Greta Thunberg's generation one day. Just mark my words. So get get the, you know, just enough. You know what I mean? You know, Donald Trump is right. This girl needs to chill out. She needs to stop wasting fossil fuels traveling all over the world. And she needs to... No one stole her childhood. She stole her own childhood by running around criticizing the rest of us. Nobody stole her childhood. Get the hell... I mean, get out of here. I mean, the fake news makes a mountain out of a molehill. That's what they do. I'm so sick of them. You know what? Even if they succeed in impeaching Trump and forcing him to resign or whatever... I'm still going to vote for him. I'm going to write Trump in. I don't think he's going to be impeached, but if he does, I'm going to write him in anyway. There's no way I'm voting for some freaking Democrat. Must be out of your mind, Holmes. All right, that's all I got to say. So, all my fellow Americans, my patriots, all my walk awayers and my conservatives and classic liberals, you know, have a Merry Christmas. <laughs>